another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in fly paper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. He's gonna try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. <laughs> the next with a right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, big left hook there. Engages in the single collar tie, and both guys really throwing with authority. Straight right hand, no good. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. The slip, and then the counter by Choi. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a best dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Big clutch, man. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, big knee! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, my God! Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Big kick land. Landed a good uppercut there. Oh, big left hook there. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. 
It was a good night if that landed. Lifts on that offering. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. This big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Ooh, big shot lands. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Pretty strong jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Able to check that kick as well. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Round two next. All right, let us now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a flying knee. He propelled himself off of the octagon canvas and landed that knee perfect. Got the knee to the target and really did hurt his opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice straight right lance. Big kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And they separate. How about that chin? Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Close to the body there. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Collar tie now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. What a punch. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Just out of range with that left hook. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just misses with the punch by Choi. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more. And just yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much. Perhaps just looking to recover. Punch land. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. He throws the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up in the fight stand. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all of fighting. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, big punch land. You got to check these low leg kicks. Nice one, two there. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, there's a chance. The weight difference, I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Anik. Oh, found the home for that left hand. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. And he's back up. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got the tie clinch. Nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just misses with that one. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. 15 seconds. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single down to a high ground. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape his very, very dangerous position. And they both stand up. Good punch. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast and always. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level. Wow. Wow. And that's going to do it. Yo, yo. That was nasty. What a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly 
may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 49 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man 